I really didn't know how to title this video. It's either children are being attacked mentally and spiritually or or Amazon is about to go bankrupt. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about already, well, there's a cartoon strategically made to again poison your children's mind. And yes, Has Been Hotel is a satanic cartoon made for your children and those that are weak. This deceiving cartoon is about Lucifer himself, Satan himself, the devil himself. It's called Has Been Hotel. Very demonic. Nothing good about it. So it basically makes Satan the victim and God, Christians, the good to be the enemy. Not only are they pushing feminism, demor demoralizing the protocol of family, the hierarchy or structure of a family, a marriage, but basically deceiving you with the satanic agenda. A lot of you might think, well, it's just a cartoon. It's harmless. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. And it's on Amazon. It's free. If you have Amazon, I mean, you have full access to it. But everybody knows Saint isn't good. Even people that don't believe in God or are not spiritual people, because everybody's spiritual, know that when you talk about evil, they associate Satan. When you talk about good, they associate it with God. But in this cartoon, they're trying to brainwash you, brainwash the kids, desensitize the kids, and thinking that, oh, Satanism is just a myth. A story. Yeah, it's a story, but it's real. There's a physical world and there's a spiritual world. There's good and there's bad, but this cartoon is making it seem like Lucifer himself was the outcast or the victim. He got booted out of heaven because he was being creative. No, you got kicked out because you were prideful and you wanted to be over your creator. All right, it's like you going, go to your boss and tell him what to do. Go to your boss and tell him what he needs to do. You think that's going to work? No, I think you're going to get kicked out. You're going to be fired. And that's the way it was with Satan. Satan is a, is, is a coward. Absolutely a coward. He wants to blame everybody else for his demise. He wants to blame God and us children. He wants to blame us for his demise, for his uh, downfall. It ain't nobody's fault but your own. And it's the same thing even as humans. There's a lot of people, and I'm going to speak to the men because I'm a man. Men, stop being wusses. Stop being punks. Be accountable for your mistakes. But when a man has tons of pride, is he going to be accountable for his mistakes? Of course not, because he has pride, because he's a coward. A lot of these men that are, what's that word, um, narcissists or cowards, 
they, of course, they're uh, habitual liars. They have, they try to portray confidence in an outwardly fashion. In other words, they like to uh, show out, maybe with money, their jobs, uh, maybe a car, fancy car, house. But they're just using that because on the inside, they're cowards and they're beta males. I, speak, I could spot those a mile away. But let's get back to uh, this cartoon we're talking about. This cartoon we're talking about is definitely uh, something that you have to be careful that your kids aren't watching it. I mean, you guys are the parents. You are the guardian of your children, of their minds. Because right now, you could go to the library. I don't know how it is now, but I know for, for a minute, you could go to a library, and a school library, an elementary library, and check out books that were basically talking about homosexual, uh, a lot of graphic stuff. Now, I didn't read it. And I, I didn't go look for it, and I didn't want to. But this was a big subject a few months ago. Not sure if they dealt away with that. But this is something that the devil, Lucifer, who is the victim, who's just a punk, he's a coward. No weapons formed against us will prosper. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. The only way he can attack, attack you is your mind, your thoughts. The only way he could crush you and take you down, if you succumb to his, to his plans, to his wickedness, his lies. What makes somebody deceive is called fear. The devil likes to use fear tactics on children and on adults. I know some adults that are that are fearful people and it's a spirit the devil came to kill steal and destroy the devil came to give you fear but Jesus came to give you life and life in abundance God did didn't give us a spirit of fear but love power and a sound mind now if you don't have the Holy Spirit if you're not renewed by the Holy Spirit it's going to be really easy to be attacked by the devil in your thoughts. Resist the devil and he shall flee. He needs to flee. When you resist the devil, he has to go. He has to bounce. Because as children of God, we have the authority. We have the power. A lot of times we don't know it. Why don't we know it? Because we're too busy listening to the enemy's kingdom and saying that the devil is this big, great, powerful dude and you have no power. Or maybe you're listening to music that doesn't glorify God but glorifies the enemy. And you're, every time you listen to those type of music or even movies or even fellowship with people, maybe at work or family member that talk nothing but negative, little by little, your faith starts to go down. Your confidence starts to diminish. So your flesh starts to rise and your spirit starts to go down. Almost like a, think about it as a, as a gas tank. Whenever our spirit tank is low, that's whenever we go into depression. That's when we start to doubt God. That's when we start to doubt God's purpose in our lives. That's when fear starts to kind of gradually come up. So you got to watch what your children are watching. Watch what you, how you speak to your children. If you're a parent and you're lying to your children, you're manipulating your children for your agenda, that's witchcraft. God detests those type of parents those type of people and it does say that your life will be short your life will be shortened i didn't say that god said that if you got a problem with that 
take it up with him. So watch, watch out what your children are playing as well. Video games. And you know what? Might as well even talk to us uh, adults. Us adults, we probably need it as well too. Watch what you hear. The devil can't get to you unless you let him. Get in God's word. Pray to God. And be around people that are going to sharpen you, that are going to invest in you. If you're not in a church, get in a really uh, family-orientated church that pre preaches from the Bible, straight out of the Bible. Because you're going to need that fellowship. You need that community to help you grow. You need that community to keep you in prayer. You need that community to also be, to help you stay accountable. The devil can't win. He will never win. He's not going to win. We already know the end for him. He has a sucky future. But us Christians, us that are reborn in the spirit, man, we got it made in the shade, as they say. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Guys, I love y'all. If you have any prayer requests, please let me know in the comments. I'll definitely be praying for you. And all of my prayer warriors that are watching will be praying for you as well. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.